take my time to explain to you what um, happened during the audition but this is just a brief video so I can do a full-on video later when I get home but what basically happened is that when we arrived there we were immediately queued and the staff uh, which is Koreans by the way they are fully Koreans but they are very fluent English and they just right away stamped this number on our shirts on the left side of our shirts and then immediately gave us a blank form to fill in and then they enter we entered the ballroom too so that we can um, fill in the forms and just wait in the ballroom too if you watch my stories you can see that um, they blasted sm town artists music videos and um, we just sit there and enjoy it it was a lot of people but it was just kind of quiet kind of enjoying and i had to practice and i went out once to the bathroom so that i can practice because sometimes it was so loud during the music video playings and after uh, our line was called we were lined up and the staff brought us down to the auditions and my group got the audition B room um, and in there there was one lady and that was a judge and she was fully Korean I don't think she can speak English she was speaking Korean and she had the cameraman beside her um, which can speak English and you know and we lined up on this black line and we sang uh, one one person at a time according to our numbers and she just had no expression she just had nothing to say about and yeah we were definitely nervous and we had to only look at the camera when we are singing or dancing or modeling because they want to record it and maybe they want to play it again or something and i could see in front of her because i was not like the early bird i was kind of like one of the late comers so when i have uh, audition in the room and i see on that table she has this kind of pile big pile of uh, forms the uh, past forms that people have uh, written and people have auditioned with those points and she had two piles one like super big and one is just like a few papers and I think those few papers are one of the people that she wants to recheck or reselect and my number is from 610 until 620 611 until 620 and I was the seventh person to perform in the camera so I think it was fine because I wasn't the first or last and um, one more thing uh 614 uh on my row she had to stay back which is amazing because i thought that there were uh, sm are not doing any more stay backs because from what i've heard in indonesia or in you know, singapore uh, they had not had stay backs and uh, so i was surprised and she was uh, she initially sang the song jar of hearts by christina perry but she was asked to sing again and then sing another song and the judge, the lady, was the one who was holding the camera so I think, I don't know, maybe she's good I mean, I heard her, I've, in my line there are some other people um, like better or sing as good as she is but you know, it's her luck and I, I wish all the best to her, I'm very happy for her and I, I'm definitely proud of myself, I did what I have to do and I did it uh, a bit off 30 seconds, but it was fine. I didn't, you know, I, off note, I was on key, on beat, and I was confident and I had my, my facial expressions practice and I just put it out to the camera, so it was very, very good. And, um, and we had to go out, take our bags and just go home. Um, and I just asked, wow, uh, that 14 girl, she had to stay back and uh, people said, oh, there might be various reasons. I don't know why, but she was really interested to just, uh, the lady, the judge, was really interested to just look at her and sing. And yeah, we just went out and I just wait, I just took some pictures and I took a picture with Nayong from Pristine, huh? huh? <laughs> well, you'll see in the pictures on Instagram. So I hope that is it for the uh, um, experience video and tips and tricks. And I will see you guys later. Bye.
So update, I just finished my passport renewal. It took so long, it took four hours, and now it's almost 12, so I'm gonna go to my car and I'm gonna go to the hotel street because I've heard that a lot of people have already arrived and I don't wanna be late. So yeah, bye. Okay, I just finished my auditions at the Federal Kuala Lumpur Hotel. Alhamdulillah, everything went well, and uh, you know, tawakal, and yeah, it was fun. It was really, really fun. It was a great experience, and I would do it again. Now I'm walking back to um, the Inbi station so that I can go home. And I'm 16 years old, and I'm walking alone in Kuala Lumpur City, a really, really busy city. So. <laughs> So I just want to take my time to explain to you what um, happened during the audition but this is just a brief video so I can do a full on video later when I get home. But what basically happened is that when we arrived there we were I'm still at Bridgeye Times Square. I'm trying to find where are the um, trains, monorail stations and I got my boost. So I'm heading back right now on the monorail. Vicky, you said you want to go here, right? Here it is. Bajaya Times Square. This is what it looked like. And we shall go in December. Yes. And I took a picture with Nayong from Pristine, huh? huh? <laughs> well, you'll see in the pictures on Instagram. So I hope that is it for the uh, um, experience video and tips and tricks. And what? Whoa. Oh.